Hello everybody and welcome back to another video guys. Today we got some news from the 2K My Team Twitter page, or sorry, the 2K My Team X page I guess you should say, um, about what content we're going to be seeing tomorrow for the first time in Season 2 of NBA 2K25 My Team. But before we do get into any of that guys, I do want to say leave a like and subscribe, we're on the road to 700 subscribers by the end of October, so hopefully we can hit it by Halloween, that would be the goal. Um, and yeah, go follow the Twitter as well. Yeah, it's just J and B. Um, so yeah, go follow the Twitter as well. Um, but yeah, guys, um, we got some news. We got some big news about um the uh content dropping tomorrow in season two. So there's a couple of things we have to go over. So the first thing is we know level forty yesterday was if you don't know it's Pink Diamond Tyrese Halliburton. But we got some big news about the pack drop. And as you can see, this pack drop is looking good. This is looking like a very good pack drop. Poetry in motion. We've got a Pink Diamond Jimmy Butler, a Pink Diamond Most of Blown, and as I actually predicted, a Pink Diamond Kevin Durant. He is going to be the best ball forward in the game, and I don't think that's going to be a question. I mean, best ball forward in the game that is on the auction house, I should say, because obviously some of those hidden gems are going to be a little bit better, probably. But um, yeah, that Kevin Durant, probably going to be the best ball forward in the game. Moses Malone, he'll probably have like an 83, maybe a 73 ball zone. He's going to be really good. Um, and yeah, Jimmy Butler's obviously going to be a lock, so he's going to be great as well. Then we also have some diamonds as well. Uh, diamond Tim Hardaway, then we got a Diamond Kyle Lowry, uh, and then we have a Diamond Manu, a Diamond Paolo Banquero, who's going to be an absolute beast, I guarantee you. He's going to be great. And then a guy that we haven't seen in the game yet, well, I don't know if he's got like a hidden gems or not, I haven't checked, but Diamond Jamal... Um, What's it called? Uh, forgive me if I say his last name wrong, but Jamal McGlory? I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, Jamal, um, we're going to get him tomorrow as a new card. Um, I mean, look, he's a center. And he, if he, he could be a really good center, or he could be just some useless guy. Like, who knows? Like, for example, like Emeka Okafor last year, we never really heard of him up until we got that. What card was it? I think he had an Amethyst fan favorites. That, was, that wasn't that was great, but then there was a Dark Matter Omeka Okafor that was really good. I can't remember what set it was, but I remember I pulled him and he was really good. So maybe he'll have some sort of similar effect like that, this Jamal card. But yeah, Poetry in Motion. I just love to say, by the way, the card art is amazing. It really is good. Like, 2K's done a good job with this card art. Obviously, it's different this year. You can't exactly see the entire pack drop. You can only see, like, the featured cards, which are three pink diamonds and the five diamonds. So we are yet to see you know, the amethysts and the rubies and the sapphires and emeralds and all the stuff like that. So, we don't know. There could be some really decent budget cards. That's what I'm going to be on the lookout for tomorrow, and that's what I want to get gameplays for you guys for. Like, I want to try and get you guys some gameplays with good budget cards. Maybe try out a diamond or two. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, hopefully we can get some gameplays out tomorrow and really um, try out some cards. And hopefully there's going to be some budget beasts. I really hope there will be. If I had to guess who are going to be buyouts out of these diamonds. I'd say Kyle Lowry, maybe Tim Hardaway. I'd say Marty Ginobili, and then depending on how good this guy is, I don't know. But Paolo, I don't think he'll be a buyer. I highly doubt it. He's going to be like, the, probably the Michael Porter Jr. of this set. Like, he'll be like 100, he could be 200k. I don't know, but Paolo's going to be really good. That's what I know. And this guy's going to be probably decent as well, because usually players that we've never heard of in this game end up being the best players. And that is just a fact. So, yeah, um, I guess we'll see how that goes, but quite interesting to see um, this drop, and I can't wait to see the rest of the budget cards as well, but yeah, great job with the card art 2k, poetry in motion, it is looking like a very decent thing, but that is also not it, uh, we also got a signature challenge, look, no one really cares about this, but if you care about a signature challenge, there you go, go meet Jamal Murray's signature challenge, uh, but here's more of the stuff that I want to talk about, so... ABC's domination continues with one of the longest names in NBA history as the prize. Play your way... By the way, I don't know what ABC means, but I don't know. Uh, play your way through the alphabet of NBA teams. Oh, so maybe it's like alphabetical order? I have no idea. But um, it maybe the domination's called ABC's. So that would make sense. But you get a Diamond Contavious Caldwell Pope. Um, I have to say, I don't know how good he'll be, but if he's budget... Well, she will be. He's a free card. And, you know, you get a lot of MT from it. And he's going to be able to shoot quite well. I can't see this being bad. Like, Domination's never really bad unless it's really, really hard. Or really long grind. But, 
I don't I don't think 2K can really make a free card bad, you know. Like, I think it's all right. I'm okay with the domination for Contavious Caldwell Pope. So, guess we'll see what that grind looks like. But, yeah, uh, domination, I don't know. New domination isn't bad for budget players, but, I mean, I guess we'll see. Uh, but then, this is what, really where I want to talk about. This is really what I want to talk about. Rack up the wins in these My Team game modes throughout Season 2 to earn some fire rewards. So, this is big. And when I mean big, I mean it's big. Not just the grind. But, like, this is also huge rewards. As you can see, this, there is a very different thing this season to last season. We, I think you had to get, like, 30 park wins this season or something. That was the park highlight. And you got an 87 plus hidden gems. Well, have they stepped that up? Oh, yes, they have. Sorry, that's out of win. Oh, yes, they have. No, they have stepped this up a lot, though. Uh, but, yeah, triple threat park. Five wins, you get an 84 plus overall premium player pack. Not bad for five wins. Ten wins, and you can imagine this would go for the whole season. Ten wins is an 87 plus overall premium player pack. 25 wins is a 90 plus overall premium player pack. 50 wins is 25 KMT. 75 wins is an Amethyst Gems of the Game option pack. And this is where it starts to get crazy. 100 wins, Diamond Hidden Gems Pack, 150 wins, Season 2 Hall of Fame Badge Option Pack, 200 wins, which is a lot of wins, 50,000 MT, and if you get 500 wins in the Triple Threat Park, which I don't, I don't know, it's going to take something special to grind that many games and win 500 Triple Threat games, you get a Hidden Gems 95 plus overall pack and a Legend Badge. If I'm not wrong, this is the first time we've actually been able to get a Legend Badge. Uh, that is huge for Triple Threat Park. Because it gives you something to grind the entire season. That, like, I do like that. Um, look, I don't know. I mean, I think the only thing that you could really do is maybe try, like... Because you would imagine that the Triple Threat Park would also count as Triple Threat wins. Worst case scenario, you could go in with, like, a friend or something and try queue up in the same Triple Threat game. And then if, do that 500 times, like, if you really want to grind for it. Um, but I don't know. Like, look... As much as it is possible, you have to play a lot. Like, I saw I saw a tweet. I think it was from Lethal 2K. He said something like, for this, showdown 250 wins for the Hidden Gems 90 plus overall. I think if you non-stop play, it, it takes five days. And that is if you win every single game to do 250 showdown wins. So, that is quite crazy, I have to say. Um, but yeah, guys. Let me know, are you going to be doing this grind? But, sorry, we haven't even talked about showdown yet. 15 wins, you get an 87 plus overall premium pack. Uh, then, uh, sorry, then you get, two, so you get two 87 plus overall premium packs, two 84 plus overall premium packs, two 84 plus overall packs, and 5,000 MT. Then, okay, this is a mouthful, but 60 wins is like Hidden Gems, Amethyst Pack, 87, 87 plus times two, 84 plus times two, uh, Poetry Emotion Deluxe Packs five, woof. No, that's three eighty four pluses. There's a bunch of option packs of badges, twenty five KMT. It is a mouthful, I'll be honest. It is an absolute mouthful. But then you've also got like a hundred and twenty wins for a hidden gems diamond option. Oh, sorry, just a hidden gems diamond pack, not an option pack. Season one super pack twenty box. That's big. Hall of Fame badge option pack at fifty KMT, and then two fifty wins is a hidden gems pink diamond award pack and a legend badge. So the exact same thing as five hundred for Triple Threat Park. Let me know, guys. Will you be grinding these game modes? I think I'm going to grind Triple Threat Park and go for that pink diamond. It is not going to be easy, but I think if I can at least get to like the diamond hidden gems, I'd be pretty happy. But I would not mind a pink diamond and a legend badge. I really want to get that that five hundred wins, but I obviously know how hard that's going to be. Um. Yeah, I mean, you might as well try. You might as well try. Because it's going to be possible, but you're just going to have to grind, pretty much. And you'll get a bunch of MT and rep, I guess. So that is good. But yeah, um, this is what we know so far about uh, Season 2 in my team for 2K25. Let me know your thoughts. Because, look, it's a lot going on, you know. And it really is a lot going on. Um, I can't wait for tomorrow, because that's going to be the first big day of just content, really. And just kind of uploading for up like uploading videos for season two so i'm really excited for that hopefully i can get you guys with like two three videos tomorrow maybe even five if, if i get a bunch of gameplays out but honestly i can't wait for this i think it's gonna be really fun um like i said let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh if you're interested in season two that much if you're interested in this pack drop if you're going to be grinding those game modes let me know down below in the comments um but without further ado guys that is going to be the end of this video so thank you guys very much for watching leave a like and subscribe 
follow the Twitter. We're on the road to 700 subscribers on YouTube by the end of October. So, uh, go leave a like and subscribe because, yeah, it'd be greatly appreciated. But, yeah, guys, without, sorry, not without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.